Welcome. In this tutorial, you will learn how the core features in Zone Alarm security software protect you and how to respond to alerts you may see. Let's get started. As soon as Zone Lab software is installed, you're protected. No further adjustments are necessary. The firewall immediately detects the network you're connected to and displays the new network wizard. If you're on a home or business network, and if you want to share files or printers with family or coworkers, choose Trusted Zone Security. In the Trusted Zone, you can share your computer resources with others in the Trusted Zone. However, if you're in a public place, like a hotel or airport, you may be connected to many people you don't know, any of whom could break into your computer. To protect yourself on public networks, choose Internet Zone Security. You're protected from public network intruders, but you can still use the Internet as you always do. Now on to alerts. The two most common types you'll see are firewall and program control alerts. Firewall alerts tell you you're protected. They occur when the firewall blocks unauthorized connections to your computer. This can be caused by normal network traffic or by a hacker scanning for victims. When you see a firewall alert, there is nothing you need to do. You're already protected. Just click OK. For quieter security, you can turn firewall alerts off. Now let's look at program control alerts. While a network firewall monitors the activity that goes between the Internet and your computer, Program Control monitors your operating system and applications. And our new operating system firewall provides additional layers of protection that can prevent spyware, find viruses, stop identity theft, and prevent criminal Internet attacks. As you use your computer, Approaches web browsers must exchange information over the Internet. However, hackers can plant malicious software on your computer to take over your computer or steal information. To prevent this, Program Control first checks against our Smart Defense database of thousands of known safe programs. If the program is known to be safe, it's automatically allowed to connect. But if it is known to be malicious, Program control can automatically kill the application, or it can contain the suspicious activity until you make a decision. If the program can't be identified or shows unusual behavior, a program control alert lets you decide whether to allow it to continue. An unknown program may be something safe, or it may be malware trying to connect to send information to a hacker. When you see a program control alert, Look at the program properties, or do an internet search on the program. Most safe programs should turn up plenty of information. The type of program alert will also help you make a decision. A new program alert indicates that an unknown program is trying to connect to the internet. A suspicious behavior alert indicates that a program is trying to make changes to your system, such as installation of a new software or browser tools. A dangerous behavior alert indicates that a program is attempting extremely unusual and high-risk behavior, such as modifying programs or preventing them from running. For all of these alerts, if you just asked a program that you know and trust to do something, it's probably okay to select yes. But if you've just asked a program you don't quite trust to do something, or if you've taken no action, you should select no. You can always change your answer later if you discover that the program is safe. If you're seeing a lot of program alerts, make sure Smart Defense Advisor is set to automatic. Together, the Network Wizard, Firewall Alerts, and Program Control Alerts help you set the right type of security for your network connection and your programs and let you know you're protected from hackers that safely with zone alarm security software